These are a few music theory tips that I guarantee will improve your music production. So starting out with simple notes that you're going to revolve your entire chord progression around is a really good idea because it's very simple to do. Obviously you don't need to have one note per bar like I have here to base your chords off of. A very common method would be one note here, one note here, and then the third note extended to the next loop. So I started out with four notes that I thought sounded the best alone. And I didn't really like this instrument too much, so I changed it, which I'll have that as a pad in the background. But I built piano chords around that, starting with a simple minor triad, which is the first, the third, and the fifth. And I moved this same minor triad over here up. And again, it's the same root notes that I used, or bass notes, which I'm not talking about the lower frequency bass. I'm talking about the root or like the base of how the chords are going to sound. So sometimes that can be a misconstrued and kind of misconceptualized word, at least for the sake of trying to describe it. Anyways, I took that top note and I pitched it down one octave. So it sounds more cohesive. The C note is played a lot and repetition is really important. Else it won't be catchy. But obviously you don't want to have it too repetitive or too all over the place because either way it does not sound good. It's the perfect balance. And again I just added two more notes above these bottom notes. And then I started to play around with a melody idea. Again I wanted to use this root note a lot, C, and I tried to follow some of the chord notes with the repetition which adds rhythm. Pretty much I just played around with this. I pitched some notes up, I changed some, I tried to add variation, and a very simple bottom Baseline. I'm going to refer to it as a bass line and these as bass notes. Very simple. Obviously, if you guys need help understanding more of exactly where you need to place the notes, a lot of people know this and I've said this a bunch of times, but if you go to view scale highlighting, you can choose your root note and your scale. The main two are minor and major. And now we have a fairly simple, but definitely something that could be added onto melody. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> There's a few different ways I can take this melody. Obviously, if I don't like the way it sounds right now, I could bounce it out into an audio clip, pitch it up, do a whole bunch of different things to it, add gross beat to it, and I might add some more variation to the chord notes. I might add some more lower frequencies because it sounds kind of high. So yeah, just trying to experiment and actually making the melodies and not watching the videos as much, but actually applying the practice is what's going to improve your ability as a music producer. Make sure you drop a like and follow for more if this was helpful. It really helps me out.